Hey everybody, did you know you can go to ColinMullen.com in order to get art and art prints? And someday I'll actually update the website so I can do that. So ColinMullen.com and you can get art and art prints. ColinMullen.com. Hey everybody, so this week I've got a digital painting for you and the reason for that is that it's kind of just dark in this apartment. Uh, that's not something I'd really thought about that the office that I was gonna get is just kind of dark. Even with the lights on, it's just kind of the same brightness all day. So rather than try and do a really low light painting that wouldn't look very good, I decided to do a digital painting and order the supplies that I need for an actual good painting setup, finally. Something I've been promising you guys for years, or you know, a year, I guess. Uh, we've actually been able to move out and uh, things are financially stable enough that I can do that. So thank you guys to the people on Patreon for doing that for me. If you want to join them, uh, there's a link down in the description. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that more later, but let's get into this week's topic. And it comes from Karma Coma on YouTube. First off, thank you for commenting. They ask, have you done a video on how to deal with insecurity in art? It's something I really struggle with and I'd love to see how you tackle the issue. Insecurity in art is just sort of a thing. Last time's video was really hard for me to put out. I had a lot of worry about it before it came out. I was like, is this going to be a thing that people like unsub and they hate me for it and all that? And yes, but you know what? The world kept spinning and it was something that I felt like I needed to do. It was a video that I felt like I needed to make. Um, so I think one of the best things you could do is realize a couple of different things. And I feel like I've done this video before, but I can't find it. So we're just going to do it again. And I think that's the way I'm going to do videos from here on out is if I can't find the video, then we're just doing it again. Anyway, um, one of the interesting things about art is I don't know how long it takes for you to do a piece of art. For me, it takes a few hours. For me to do a completed piece that I'm happy with, it'll take me like four to six hours, depending on you know how complex it is and how you know well I sketched it out in advance and all that jazz. It'll take me a while. And usually I do it in like fairly long sittings. I'll sit there for like an hour or two and I'll just do it. After a while, you start to get worn out, you start to get tired, and then you, you start looking at it you're like, man, this sucks. Like, I hate this. I really hate this. When you get to that point, you need to like stop. You need to stop doing the art for a minute. You need to stop doing art for a minute. You need to go do something else. Um, after like a, an hour or so of doing that or whatever your time frame for doing a completed work is, like uh, I, I, once you start to get to that point where it's just like, God, I hate everything about this. Stop, walk away. Go do something else. Go play some video games. Go so play some music. Go uh, do whatever we're able to do in early 2021 that allows you to walk away from your art for a minute and come back to it later, like a few hours later. Um, sometimes I'll just stop for the night and I'll just like come back the next day and then I'll look at it and I'll be like, okay, it's not that bad, but it, it needs to be fixed. And that's one thing that really helps is that you start to get tunnel vision on all of the bad things about it. And you don't see any of the good things about it. And sometimes you just make bad art. And that's not an admonishment on who you are and what you do. Sometimes you're gonna make bad art. All of these famous artists and painters and musicians and all that, they're all well known for a handful of pieces that we all know them for and they're great. They're wonderful pieces and it's super cool that they made them, but we don't ever talk about the bad ones. We don't talk about the ones they destroyed. We don't talk about the songs that weren't ever played onto a record because they're just like, this kind of sucks. We're not gonna go with that one. We're not putting this one on the record. When people come up to me and talk to me about YouTube videos that I've done, there's usually just a handful that they come up and tell me about. They're like, oh man, I really love your such and such that you've done. And that's because people remember the good stuff, but not the bad stuff or the mediocre stuff. And the same thing with art. Like people will ask for very specific paintings consistently. They'll be like, do you still have this one? The certain ones will sell more on the print shop than others. If you could think of like three pieces of art that I've done outside of the one you're watching right now, which ones? I, I can guarantee that it's the same list almost with everyone that is watching this video right now. And with maybe a, a slight amount of variation because it's easier to remember the good ones and not the bad ones, you know? It's not the last time you're gonna be doing art. You're gonna do art again. And if this one sucks, then okay. Then you have a downhill climb to be able to make a better art the next time. Because all you have to do is make something better than the last one. And the last one apparently sucked, right? Learn things from what you're doing. You're gonna make mistakes. There are drawings and paintings that I've done that I'm like, okay, well, 
This kind of sucked, but I liked really, I really, really enjoyed this element, and I wish I could fix that. I, I think I talked about that in last week's video. I'm going to just link last week's video so that way you guys can watch that, because it was a good one, and it talked about a lot of the process that I, I did over the year doing my paintings. Um, I I'll do something bad, and then I'll go, okay, but there are these good things about it. So it's okay to, you know, have doubts. It's okay to dislike your art a little bit. I think that's just kind of anything you care about. Like, you know, when I was working at GameStop, I didn't like really beat myself and bang myself up about how bad of a job I did on any given day, you know? Um, Cause it, it's not crucially important to who I am as a person. The insecurities you have are because this is important to you. And that that's fine. You need to realize that like you care about this and that's great. That means that you can learn lessons from your mistakes because you actually care about them. You actually want to get better. So when you look at a bad piece of art that you've done, try and learn like what was good about it? What was bad about it? And push forward with that energy, with that knowledge that like, hey, I made the mistakes that I need to make. Because there are a certain number of bad drawings and paintings in every person, but a lot of people give up before they actually get to the point where they make the good ones. And it's not just like, oh, well, you do a thousand bad paintings and then you make only good ones from there on out. Nope. You're gonna, you're gonna make a bunch of bad ones and you start making a couple good ones. There's gonna be a few more bad ones in there and it's gonna be kind of intermixed and eventually you kind of figure it out. So if there's a lesson here, the insecurity is because you care about this and that's great. Um, but don't let it hold it, hold you back from what you're doing. Realize that that is just you realizing that there are issues with your art that are fixable. Try and figure out what those things are. Step away from your art every now and then. You know, it, it doesn't help you to just stand there and look at how bad you think your art is. There have been times where I'm like, this sucks. I wake up in the next morning and then I'm like, actually, this is great. And I don't realize it until I've walked away for a bit. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, if it wasn't, let me know. If this wasn't really what you're talking about, let me know. And hey, you watched until here, so maybe throw me a subscribe. And you know, if you really like this video, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash revscarecrow and if you uh, donate at least $5 or more, you can get to the Discord, and I'll also say your name into the uh, credits of this video, like I'm gonna do with Wapfu. Thank you, Wapfu. Thank you, Top Houndor. Thank you, Tina Kill. Thank you, Targo. Thank you, Spencer Kane. Thank you, Orthogonal Caster. Thank you, Mortibus. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Lost Nevada. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Katana Squirrel. Thank you, James at Games. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Duxu. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Demetrius Gezgalas. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Bubba Fair. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Ass! It's a new apartment, so I had to make sure that I actually like, recorded this during the daytime rather than at night or in the morning like I used to in the other place. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you did. Let me know what other stuff that you want to talk about uh, and I, I can give my opinion on. Uh, just be kind to yourself. Just do that. Yeah, be good to yourself. I'll see you guys in the next one.